Smallpox Vaccine Information Statement, VIS. Supplement B. February 7, 2003. Vaccination Site Appearance and Care. Appearance. If the vaccination is successful, a red and itchy bump develops at the site of vaccination in three or four days. In the first week, the bump becomes a blister, fills with pus, and begins to drain. During the second week, the blister begins to dry up and a scab forms. The scab falls off in the third week, leaving a small scar. People vaccinated for the first time may have a stronger reaction than those who are being revaccinated. The following pictures show the usual progression of the vaccination site. Primary vaccination site reaction. Day 4, Day 7, Day 14, Day 21. Major Primary Reaction Expected site reaction and progression over the three weeks following first-time smallpox vaccination or following revaccination after a prolonged period. Source, CDC. Vaccination Site Evaluation. About seven days after vaccination, you will need to keep an appointment for a vaccination site exam so that someone can evaluate your vaccination site to determine whether the vaccination was successful. The details of this appointment are on the post-vaccination and follow-up information sheet given to you at vaccination. Look out for. If your vaccination site doesn't look like it's healing normally, or if you develop a rash or sore on other parts of your body, an eye infection, a persistent headache lasting more than 24 hours, or high fever, confusion, seizures, difficulty staying awake, difficulty breathing, wheezing, hoarseness, hives, paleness, weakness, a fast heartbeat, dizziness, or some other unexpected problem, call the phone number provided on the post-vaccination and follow-up information sheet or call your health care provider. Site Care There will be vaccinia virus at the site of your vaccination until the scab that forms after vaccination falls off on its own between two and three weeks after vaccination. During this time, vaccinia can be spread to other parts of the body or to other individuals through direct contact, touching the vaccination site or a bandage or clothing contaminated with virus and then touching another part of your body or someone else before hand washing. You should avoid the spread of virus and keep the vaccination site clean and dry. Follow the instructions on the next page carefully. Site Care Instructions 
follow these instructions until the scab that forms at the vaccination site has fallen off on its own. What you should do. When working in a healthcare setting, cover the vaccination site loosely with gauze, using first aid adhesive tape to keep it in place. Then cover the gauze with a semi-permeable or semi-occlusive dressing. Change the bandage at least every three to five days in order to prevent buildup of fluids and irritation of the vaccination site. Also wear a shirt that covers the vaccination site as an additional barrier to spread of vaccinia. A semi-permeable dressing is one that does not allow for the passage of fluids, but allows for the passage of air. When not at work in a healthcare setting, you need only wear the gauze bandage secured by first aid adhesive tape over the vaccination site. Change the gauze bandage frequently every one to three days. As an added precaution against spread of transmission, wear a shirt that covers the vaccination site as well. This is particularly important in situations of close physical contact, such as occurs in the household. Wash hands with soap and hot water or with alcohol-based hand rubs such as gels or foams after direct contact with vaccine, the vaccination site, or anything that might be contaminated with live virus, including bandages, clothing, towels, or sheets that came in contact with the vaccination site. This is vital in order to remove any virus from your hands and prevent contact spread. Keep the vaccination site dry. Cover the vaccination site with a waterproof bandage when you bathe. Remember to change back to the loose gauze dressing after bathing. If the gauze covering the vaccination site gets wet, change it. Put the contaminated bandages in a sealed plastic bag and throw them away in the trash. Keep a separate laundry hamper for clothing, towels, bedding, and other items that may have come in direct contact with the vaccination site or drainage from the site. Wash clothing or any other material that comes in contact with the vaccination site using hot water with detergent and or bleach. Wash hands afterwards. When the scab falls off, throw it away in a sealed plastic bag. Remember to wash your hands afterwards. what you should not do. Don't use a bandage that blocks all air from the vaccination site. This may cause the skin at the vaccination site to soften and wear away. Use loose gauze secured with first aid adhesive tape to cover the site and then cover this with a semi-permeable dressing and shirt when at work in a healthcare setting. Don't put salves or ointments on the vaccination site. Don't scratch or pick at the scab. The vaccination site can become very itchy, but you should not scratch it. For more information, visit 
www.cdc.gov slash smallpox or call CDC at 800-CDC-INFO for English or Spanish. TTY users call 888-232-6348. Version 1. February 7, 2003. Page 2 of 2. Department of Health and Human Services. Centers for Disease Control and Prevention. Safer, healthier people. 